Right, here we are. This is the front caliper. Now, I'm very pleased with the way the back caliper turned out, by the way. Um, I think it was the right decision to actually do a complete rebuild. Knock this up out. Right, let's just break these off. Let's have a butcher's. Right, oh, yeah, these pads need to be replaced. They're not that bad, but. Right. One pin at the back holds the whole lot in. Is that the one? That's two groups. Copy that one. Yes. Brake pads. Um, yeah, definitely due for replacement. Down to about what about a mil? <coughs> the worst corner, a millimetre. Um, Anti wrestle clip. Ah, and how did this come off? Oh, I see it's got an arrow on it, so that must be at the front. Let's pump these out a bit. Which I'm quite surprised about. Uh, a little brush. At all. I think I'll do these just with brake cleaner. Piston pumped out more now than the other. Just drop a load of brake clean on it. Give it a bit of a scrub. Wipe all the cack off. Just a screwdriver to get around there. Out the 
the top. They are nice and clean, they put them up. They are, I should say. What we're going to do is push that piston back in. You should have said that done. so I can allow the top piston to move out of it. Right, so when I pump out, the other piston should come out. Start cleaning the other piston. Which is also actually quite clean. I did have a look at these uh, brakes a few weeks ago when I when I discovered the nightmare of the back one, how corroded it was, and I gave them a, I gave them a quick clean then, but not not as extensive as what I'm doing now. So maybe that might have helped. But that is actually quite clean, which I'm really, really pleased about. This can, by the way, has lost all its gas. That's why it's not fussing out like it should. where an old toothbrush comes in really handy. This brush though actually just just about fits in there. He says on that side anyway. So the next time I do this job I'll just make sure I've got a, an old toothbrush. Just think I can really get round the back. I will using a screwdriver here in the, the tissue paper which um, I source from my kitchen it's really good stuff actually every time I go in there's like a fresh roll don't know where it comes from I'll just grab it got a few complaints mind you but what's new eh there's always somebody complaining about something Right, that is, that's perfect, that's, that's really good. I'm really pleased with that, there's no, there's no, there's no corrosion on these pistons at all. Um, so I'm gonna just push this piston back, um, rebuild the caliper with a fresh pair of um, brake pads, and then uh, change, change the fluid, which I'll, I'll film doing that to show you, but, Putting these pads back in is now it's going to be quite fitting because I've got to work out where this clip goes. So I won't bore you with that. See you in a minute. 
<coughs> Pontchartrain rebuild and uh, trying to push them pistons back is very, very difficult. Um, so what you do is you use the old pads, because it doesn't matter if you damage them, you put them in. Sometimes you can only get one in to start off with. And then what you do is you put your, get your nice lever in between the two pads slowly. And to get these in, I like to use uh, a couple of levers. So I have one in like that, and then one in like that, and then basically, um, you know, hinge off each other to actually push the pistons back. Also, you need to put a screwdriver in the back as well sometimes to get a bit of even pressure. But um, oh, they've gone back. So, like that. Quite difficult to do, but it's got to be done. Alright, so there the old pants. I'm going to rebuild this coupler now, put in, I've got to work out which way around this uh, clip goes, put the new pads in and then um, I'll come back when I'm doing the bleed. Okay. <laughs>